There are a lot of mortalities in many poultry farms now. People are really in pains because how they are losing their birds on a daily basis. Handling your birds in each of the season, you on your own, you should know how to handle your birds, whether it be it uh, during the, uh, you know, the rainy season, the cold season, you know how to handle your birds. That aside, even during uh, the hot season, you should know that your bird needs a lot of ventilation. But when your birds are being loaded with so many antibiotics before getting to your farm, that is another problem altogether. So that is what we'll be discussing today, you know, antibiotic resistance in broiler farming. Hello, this is Farm Base TV where everything about agriculture is being discussed. Please do where to follow me on my YouTube channel. If you are coming across my you know my, my video for the very first time please do subscribe and give a thumbs up to other to, to this channel and help me to grow this channel and also press the notification button that each time i upload a video you will be the first to be notified and also like and comment on my videos you know to improve this channel and I will be so grateful if you do that. Okay, we will be discussing about antibiotic resistance in the uh, broiler farming. Okay, um, a lot of things are going on right now in you know poultry farming right now because quality of breads, the quality of chicks are reducing day by day, and the distributors are not really helping matters. Okay most of these distributors they are using old parent stocks to produce these chicks and also these parent stocks are not well you know they are not healthy okay they are not healthy most of them are you know are already having a lot of sickness in them and these parents do pass this infection down to their chicks and when these birds you know when they come to your farm they come with this infection and to you once they stay in your farm maybe two three days you see them exhibiting some behavior you will be thinking that maybe you are the one that caused the problem but actually it's not from your farm okay it's coming from the hatcheries place and this hatch hatchers they know all this but they will not want to let you know that they are aware they know all this and that is why once this bird comes to your to your to your farm you'll see them they'll start dying in their numbers so that is what many farmers are you know really suffering in in, in their farm lately transporting the birds alone you know from the hatchery to down to the distributor or the vendor then down to, to, to your farm is a stress on its own. It weighs down the chicks, it weighs down their immune system. You know, they will be transporting them without food, without water. They will be crying and panting because of the hot weather. Okay, and this alone affects the birds. Okay, and if you don't know what to do when these birds get to your farm, that is where you see on even growth, you see your birds, some are performing well and why some are not performing well. Most of the problems are coming from the, you know, from the distributors because they know what these birds undergo. They know how they stress these birds. And sometimes these birds that come to your bed, most of them are not brellas. Most of them are cockerel and they bring it to your bed. And you will not observe when you are picking them because they all look alike you know cockerel and uh, umbrellas look alike so when they get to your farm you will now notice that some are growing and some are not growing now when these birds are being you know packed with a lot of antibiotic because these distributors they know that these birds are not healthy so they you know load them with a lot of antibiotics so so that the antibiotic that can sustain them to down to your farm and once these birds get to your farm you see them you know having so many disease challenge and you now on your own side want to now treat them you will now start loading them with another you know antibiotics these are the things that causes resistance because they've already loaded these chicks with antibiotics from their own end and bringing them to your own end it's already having resistance in them and you now giving them your own antibiotic is like you are you know wanting to kill these breaths okay so that is why it is very very advisable you should go for organic once your bread gets to your farm 
organic is more safer for your breasts. Most of these distributors, they don't vaccinate the birds because of people are, you know, buying their products. A lot of people are buying their products. So most of most of the times they will not vaccinate these breasts and they will put it inside carton that is, you know, printed with vaccinated breads and they know that they've not vaccinated these breads. And these are the things that is causing more of mortalities in so many people's farm. You will see somebody getting, maybe buying 200 breads. At the end of the day, he will, the person will lose 150 breads. The 50 that, you know, manage and struggle to survive will be the only one surviving and 150 are gone. And you are talking about 150, you're talking about your money, your resources, your label everything maybe when they get to your farm you will try all you could you know to you know sustain them with antibiotic you will be trying and that's why a lot of people will be saying i have been treating them but not not to avail it is not your fault the distributors know what they are doing i'm urging us now to go into organic once your bread gets to your farm at least when you give them their glucose the next treatment you should start which should be with organic organic is more safer with your breads you know it's more safer for their system it's going to help them you know to you know boost their immune that have been destroyed by these antibiotics from the hatchery boost them and then boost their growth again and now make them to start growing well because most of the broiler breads now that they are producing most of them are not growing well but with organic is going to repair the system of your breath and help your breath to grow well and then start you know performing well even in your farm what am i saying in essence i'm trying to say that you should embrace organic farming because as far as i know organic farming is the best because it's going to give you good results and you will be happy about it and it's going to make your breasts to be healthy so long as you stick to changing on their liters you change you you, you stick to giving them ves, uh, ve ventilation you, you you stick on you know checking them giving them water giving them all their their, their nutrient their balanced diet food checking them your biosecurity once you follow all these you know parameters definitely your breasts will come out very very good with organic treatments i hope this video is helpful to you please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel and also give a thumbs up to my channel and also help me to share this video so that others will know and learn see you next time bye for now